Okay. <laughs> so today, I want to talk about cyber bullies and trolls and how to deal with them. Um, I'm going to start off by saying that this video is going to go through a couple of different kinds of online interactions, um, from trolls to just difficult people and how to handle those interactions. Um, so I am an out, queer, bi-gender person. I have a decent Instagram following, and so I have some intimate knowledge of trolls and difficult people and difficult questions, difficult conversations, um, and how to go about them. So I've, um, I've broken down difficult people on the internet into three different categories. Okay, so, so there's, there's people who don't quite understand you, but they're asking you a question in a, in a mostly respectful way. So they're coming from a different point of view, but they're asking you a question. So, so for instance, um, somebody could say to me, I'm confused about how being by gender works. I was under the impression that there were only two genders. Can you explain your experience? So as, as, far, as far as I've experienced, nine out of 10 times when people pose questions like that in a similar vein with a similar energy, they are really looking to learn. So again, nine out of 10 times, it's not perfect. There's that, there's that one out of 10 that sucks. Um, but most of the time you can engage in a discussion with these people and by the end of it, they will, they will have a viewpoint more similar to yours and they will have probably learned something. The caveat to this is, of course, it is never your job to explain anything to anybody on the internet or anywhere. So only engage with these people or anybody else if you have the energy to do so. Um, the second kind of difficult person that you will run into on the internet are people who who ask you a question, but it's worded in a not so great way. So for instance, um, how can you be by gender? You look like a girl. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so these questions, these people, you have a 50-50 chance of actually having a useful conversation with them and a 50-50 chance of them just being trolls. So with these people, again, if you have the energy, I think it's worth at least one response like, hey, uh, interesting viewpoint, let me tell you where I'm coming from. If after that you're still getting close-minded or aggressive or one-word answers, then you should just drop the conversation, it's not worth it, put them into the third category, which I'm about to go over. Um, but 50-50, they could move into the category of, hey, we learned something, we worked through this together, you just did a really bad job asking that question in a non-offensive way. Um, so third category are just straight trolls. They, they just want to argue, they want to yell, or they want to say something mean. They don't want to have a conversation, they want to engage you in an aggressive manner, they're not looking to learn anything, they just want to hurt you. So a circumstance of that is somebody saying to me, being by gender isn't real, change my mind. Now that can almost seem like it falls into the number two category, but you never have to explain your existence to anyone. And somebody saying change my mind is very much like, I'm right, I'm gonna argue with you. This is not something that I'm gonna like actually be open to discussing. Um, and then of course there are the more blatant ones like being by gender isn't real, screw you, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and with these people, there is no winning. You will never win. They, <laughs> the, the course of action you should take is report them and block them. That's it. Report them and block them. If you're feeling like kind of petty and like I fall into that category sometimes, you can leave like a zinger comment back but then report and block them. Like, do not wait for their response. Don't try to engage with them. These people are bored. Some of them are, you know, incredibly young. They just want to mess with people. Some of them in the LGBTQ community are just super deeply closeted. 
some people are just really close-minded and as much as our our open minds don't want to believe this some of them really are psychopaths like some of them do have antisocial personality disorder um if i'm not mistaken there's actually a study on this how more trolls than not are actually psychopaths so not people who care about your feelings people who are incapable of caring about your feelings people who just want to hurt you and who enjoy hurting you and so again with those people just don't interact with them you can't win they're not the same as you and i um they're just trying to hurt you and i know i know that saying like don't engage with them don't give them your energy blah 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 is like way easier said than done again if i get 10 messages like like telling me to kill myself or telling me that my gender isn't real or being gay is a waste of space blah 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 like those are terrible terrible things and even though i know that those things aren't true it can wear on you like even the most confident people even the most like self-centered people with great support systems like it can still wear on them and it sucks so just just please remember like your space that you create for yourself on the internet is yours. You don't owe anybody an explanation. You don't owe anybody a conversation. And uh, really, the best thing that you can do is, like I said, number one, don't engage. But number two, remember that these people don't know you. These people are doing this to people who are completely different than you, too. You know, it's not just like, this person doesn't like me because it's me. It's, this person doesn't like other people. Like, you could be anyone, and they would still be saying terrible things to you. It is not personal. It is a game to them. So, if you deal with trolls, and if this is something that happens over and over, which I know, unfortunately, like, for myself, it does. Most people in the queer community, it does. The trans community. Um, just make sure to take, take mental space from your online presence. I know a couple times when it's been bad for me, I've just had to, like, set down my phone, go outside, talk to my wife about it. I've even had to work through some of it in therapy. Um, so again, like I'd, I'd like to be able to sit up here and say that it doesn't touch me, but it does sometimes, but not forever. If it hurts you, even though you know logically that it shouldn't, know that it's not gonna hurt you forever. So something mean that somebody said to me yesterday, I'm not thinking about today. You know, it hurts for a couple of minutes, then you get over it, you're like, this person sucks, I'm gonna go do something else, or I'm gonna focus on something else, etc, etc. Etc, etc, I can speak. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Um, if you like this video, please push the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to see more of me, my Instagram is also Cosmic Phenomenon, or you can go to my website, um, which is CosmicPhenomenon.com. And I think you're lovely.